Hey guys, this is Michael with CloudAlien.com, and in this free training, I'm going to show you how uh, I do keyword research essentially before starting any campaign with Zero Park. I come in here and I go to where it says uh, volume, zeropark.com forward slash volume, and you can see we're here in uh, volume or keywords. I'm not so interested in the volume. Actually, every time I run a zero part com campaign, for the most part, I will run a keyword campaign knowing these are the keywords I'm targeting uh, for my particular campaign. So whatever those keywords may be, depending on the niche, depending on the offer and so forth. So let's go in here. We'll do a keyword campaign. And you can either have pop-up or domain traffic. Domain traffic is also known as redirect traffic. So if somebody were to type in a, a particular keyword, let's make our keyword make money online, for example. Now let's say they, they misspelled online, maybe left out the E or something. That would be considered redirect traffic. So it would re, be redirected to, say, one of Zero Park's publishers, for example. Okay, so uh, in this case, we have um, four different options here country, device, operating system, and adult traffic. And this is for pop-up, and it's going to be the same for domain traffic. So we can click over there and see it's the same thing. Domain, you still have the same four. So in this case, let's look at our keyword, make money online. And we want to look everywhere. So we're looking at the entire database. At this point, uh, make money online for all countries, all devices, all operating systems and all types of traffic comes in at 379,140 searches per month at 1.8 uh, CPM, which uh, isn't too bad, but I don't want to target every country in the world. It really depends on your landing page. Now, if your landing page can handle multiple um, uh, offer or multiple languages and so forth, then that's fine if you have some sort of type, some like type of rotating landing page uh, well then that's fine you can easily run this type of traffic uh, but if you only want to target people that are interested in speak those that speak English then you may only want to target people in the United States Australia New Zealand United Kingdom uh, and so forth so let's go ahead and take a look at that and we'll scroll down here to the United States and we'll pick the United States as uh, our target here so now you see it there's a, a big chunk of that 379,000 is gone but still pretty good volume, 78,840 searches at 60 cents CPM now, which is uh, not so bad. Um, this is across all devices here. But let's take a look at adult traffic. Uh, let's see if people, yeah, 240 people, um, and that keyword actually doesn't even pop up. Similar keywords will pop up. So we're going to go ahead and limit this to non-adult traffic. And so that we got two of these uh, already taken care of. You see a country and adult for this particular keyword. So let's go ahead into devices. So we have 78,840 and only 12,480 are coming from uh, mobile devices. So I think it'd be best if we were to target desktop devices, for example. So much more volume here. And what we're doing is we're looking for that volume for this particular keyword. And we'll go into the operating system. Obviously, we can't select these because we're not targeting any mobile. So phone, tablet, and uh, these. So these are the only four that we can target. Windows, Mac OS, Linux, and other desktops. So let's start off with other desktop. Out of the 66,000, nothing shows up. So we're not going to look at that. We'll look at Linux next. Not much volume there as well. Mac OS, only 1,680 out of the total that we saw. So let's look at Windows and voila. There it is. Make money online, 63,900 searches per month at 60 cents CPM. So this is obviously our metrics that we're going to use when we run a pop-up campaign So uh, or pop-up traffic. So first off, our landing page has to be geared towards pop-up. It has to be in English and you want to optimize for Windows, for example, and you want to run non-adult traffic for Make Money Online. So let's take a look at domain traffic. And what we're going to do is we're going to set up the same thing. We're going to go to the United States, and we want to attract people from the United States. We're going to put our keyword back in there, and we're going to look at uh, all 
traffic and we're going to search and no so 15,900 uh, searches per month on redirect traffic a little price here uh, because this redirect tra this redirect traffic like I said is really good traffic where people are actually typing in a very similar keyword maybe misspell something and they, they somehow end up on your web page so this traffic seems to do a lot better it's usually more expensive than pop tra pop-up traffic in this case 15,900 searches per month at three cents per click essentially which isn't too bad at all uh, especially you know it really depends on your landing page and your sales funnel and so forth but let's break this down and see exactly where uh, 15,000 so well, that's about 16,000 total let's see if a majority of this uh, less than half is coming from mobile so once again we'll do uh, desktop let's go ahead and uh, eliminate this real quick let's just take take a look yeah 60 searches from adult traffic we're not going to target that non-adult is where we want to go so 9180 so far United States desktop traffic and non-adult and once again we go through here we'll look at the other desktop hardly any traffic's coming from other desktop traffic Linux not much traffic from Linux Mac OS not much traffic there either and then Windows traffic obviously Windows beats uh, beats out again so what I've done here is I've shown you uh, via pop-up or domain traffic there's two separate campaigns that you can create a pop-up campaign and a domain campaign you want to optimize it for desktop and Windows traffic and the non-adult traffic is the selection that you'll make when you actually set up the campaign so let's take a look at some of these keywords in here and uh, make money online with Kev I have no idea what that is but I would copy that and see exactly what what that is but your main keyword here is make money online but and if that is if you're running exact what I like doing is going through here and taking a look at the different keywords that may trigger a negative keyword something that I would say well that if I if I decide to run this broad on zero part make money online and I run it broad versus exact if I run it broad then um, if you're trained like AdWords train you'll know that it could be make money online selling trees or something so you you want to be very careful with that and you want to see the selection of keywords in here and sometimes one will pop up at you uh, as a matter of fact uh, let me just show you a really good example here with pop-up traffic and we're gonna go ahead and put our keyword back in there make money online no and let's go ahead and just scroll and find one that could easily be a negative keyword and you can you can grow grow marijuana or marriage or something marijuana so that could that could easily be a keyword that you put in here uh, as a negative keyword you really don't want to pop this up especially if you're trying to sell something uh, like some particular Clickbank product or something that has something to do with making money online you know has nothing to do with marijuana for example then you may want to take that out of there and you you can scroll down and and, and take a look what I normally do is I'll go ahead and actually uh, download them and uh, just copy them and put them in an Excel spreadsheet here and I can see Eva Longoria for example MTV make money I mean something like that I'm definitely uh, going to create this particular keyword as a negative keyword. So I, I want to fill uh, creating negative keywords essentially filters your traffic. Now this link box, on the other hand, that seems pretty interesting. And I actually looked it up earlier, and it's a website, uh, social advertising network. So you could actually run traffic on this website. For example, people coming here trying to make money online and your website your landing page could actually pop up or pop under uh, on this on this actual website right here so this could be a potential for you to use that uh, anyhow this is uh, the free training I wanted to provide to uh, everybody on my blog and uh, hopefully uh, you guys get something out of this and hope to see you uh, on at www.cloudalien.com Feel free to join me at the RevMax Mastermind or the uh, Stack That Money form. Appreciate uh, you guys taking the time to watch this video.